the 37th uh, Senate uh, District, which is being vacated by the uh, retirement of uh, the Honorable Susie Oppenheimer. Uh, Mr. Cohen won the toss and he's elected to go first in the opening statement and uh, last in the closing statement. So, um, like I said, uh, Bob Cohen is the Republican candidate and George Latimer is the Democratic candidate. Mr. Cohen. Thank you, Mark, and uh, let me start off by thanking uh, the NAACP for giving us the opportunity to be here. Um, uh, I am, uh, my name is Bob Cohen, I'm running for the uh, 37th Senatorial District. Uh, it actually runs from Bedford in the north all the way down to um, uh, eastern Yonkers in the south, uh, including the southern part of New Rochelle, part of the northern part of New Rochelle. Um, and uh, so, I, from what I understand, the majority of the people here are from New Rochelle. Um, I ran in 2010 against Susie Oppenheimer. I actually lost that race. It was a close race. Um, but in that race, um, the key issue, quite frankly, was, and still is, was property tax relief. Uh, property tax relief for the people of our community, um, unfunded mandate relief, uh, the need to actually get jobs into our communities, uh, the need to get education funding into our communities. Uh, those were the, the big issues in there and also um, to get the kind of uh, accountability and transparency uh, in Albany. Uh, I think we've all seen uh, some of the, the situations in Albany that I, I personally find uh, quite appalling. I imagine some of you do also. Um, what, uh, what is the time? 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. We'll, we'll wrap it up on 30 seconds. There we go. Um, so th those are the big issues that we're going to talk about tonight, and um, uh, I look forward to having a, a good discussion with you about those issues. So thank you, and I'll give the mic to Mr. Latimer. Okay. Uh, the opening statements are a minute and a half. The timekeeper over here will raise the yellow card when you've got 30 seconds and stop when you have no more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> let's shoot you if you go over the limit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm George Latimer. I'm the Democratic candidate for the state Senate. Now, I could give you a long uh, outline of what we're going to talk about tonight, but I think it's going to be more interesting when we get into questions. And I know that President Obama and Governor Romney are debating. And at some point in time, this room's going to empty out. So uh, the bottom line is I use my time wisely. Let me tell a story rather than tell uh, all the different issues. We'll talk about those issues. I grew up 58 years ago on the south side of Mount Vernon, South 14th Avenue between 2nd and 3rd. If you know Mount Vernon geography, right near Vista Place in the Bronx borderline. I was the only white kid in an African-American neighborhood. And back in the early 1960s, when my parents were able to buy the little house that I was able to grow up in, uh, it was a racially mixed neighborhood. And then white flight took over, and uh, every other white family in the neighborhood moved out. And I asked my father, who was uh, head of maintenance at Beach Point Club, working man, and my mom worked in a factory, Dad, how come we're still here? I'm losing all my friends. And he said, son, you're going to make new friends. <laughs> that was my dad's stand. And of course, what I learned in that experience, I apply right now in the next 30 seconds. Um, <laughs> some of my friends from that day, Bobby Hall, Donald Bailey, Jared Smithrick, Butch Gladden. Uh, I remember when we were about eight, nine years old, we went to a local stationery. The man who ran the stationery saw us all walking around, four black kids and one white kid. And he started going to the black kids. He says, get out of here, you're starting trouble. And, and he's chased them out. I happened to be elsewhere in the store reading comic books. And I came over, he says, those kids are always starting trouble. And I said, those kids are my friends. And I realized that um, no white man could ever know what it's like to be a black man in this society. No white man can know what it's like to be a black man. We're going to try to relate to you on issues, but we're going to have to deal with the fact that things you can teach us that we don't know. Thank you very much for that story, uh, Mr. Latimer. It's good, to, it's good to open up a NAACP debate with a story about a mixed name, growing up in a mixed name. Uh, so now we're going to go to our uh, committee questions. Uh, so we'll start with, say your name and your question. My name is Jean Sanfordino. The question is, when government contracts are awarded and there is a percent required by minority workers, 
what will you do to make sure that African Americans are equally represented amongst Hispanic and women artists? Mr. Latimer, what would you do to make sure that African Americans get their fair share in uh, government contracts? Well, what I've already done and what I intend to do going forward is to make sure that uh, working directly as a legislator, as an advocate, that we reach out to the African American community, wherever that may be. In this Senate district, uh, a portion of the district is in New Rochelle, but a, a larger portion of it might be in Tuckahoe. There's a sliver of it in White Plains, and we reach out to organizations like the NAACP, of which I am a member of in the Port Chester Rye, Rye uh, chapter, and, and ask them to make sure they identify the minority-owned businesses that are trying to bid on it so we can be an advocate and a strong voice. Now, it's going to take a legislative voice to advocate within the administrative process to make sure that when there's an announcement about uh, opportunity for bid, that it's posted in places where people who have minority-owned businesses will be able to see that posting. If it's done online and there's a list that the people who are businesses within our communities, our Senate districts, are included on that list, so it doesn't, the contract doesn't get awarded and nobody knows anything about it until it's already been awarded. Uh, we had a conversation like that with a representative of this chapter, reached out to me as an assemblyman relative to the stimulus plan and how the stimulus plan was being done. We met, met at the Mirage Diner, uh, one of the, uh, the number of times that I've sat with people from this group, as I have with others who are in the room, and we went over and we tried to identify where some of that money was coming from and where it would be going. And that's the effort I will continue to do if I am uh, state senator.